Hey, how's it going? So today I want to talk about test flight and how it works and um, how effective it is. So test flight is basically a beta testing tool and you can have up to 25 of your iTunes Connect users join internal beta, which basically means they'll get updates as they come out, right when you put uploaded your update to the App Store all of your internal tests will be able to use it. And then you can have external beta users and you can have up to 10,000 of these. Um, and in order for them to get an update, it has to go through the Apple review process. Once you download Test Flight from the App Store, um, it's pretty simple really. You can send invites to people through your Apple developer account on iTunes Connect. And then when they get the invite, they'll receive a code. And all they do is open up Test Flight and hit this redeem button right here. But if you send them the email, Test Flight will include a link to download the app. And it'll, it will also have that code in the link with the app download. And sometimes it just does it automatically. So that's pretty sweet. And here's an app. I'm developing, I'm part of the internal beta, so right when updates get pushed out, they go straight to my phone. There's no uh, approval process like there is for external beta. So external beta, you have to wait like one day or so for someone at Apple to approve the beta release. But internal beta releases immediately. So, you can add test notes in here on iTunes Connect when you release a new version. Send beta feedback will basically just send beta feedback to whoever the developer is or CEO that has the beta feedback email address in iTunes Connect. Beta program website, you can set that to be whatever you want. And you can see some app details here and notifications, everyone can say whether they want to receive text notifications and or email notifications or both and you can see all your previous builds here and when they expire and you can actually install previous builds that's interesting I didn't know that so inside of iTunes connect once you've uploaded your app you can go into the test flight section and um, the first thing you're going to have to fill out is some information such as the email address and the privacy policy URL and things like that. And then once you upload a build, you can see them here. And when you upload it, there's going to be a little yellow triangle next to the upload. All you got to do is click that yellow triangle and it's going to ask you to provide some information for them and just supply that information and select start internal testing and you'll be ready to internally test. So whoever want, you want to be on your internal testing team you need to add to this iTunes Connect users group and you can do that by pressing this little blue plus And if you want to add some external testers, you need to add a new group. So you have the external beta team here. And once you have that external beta team, you can just um, go into your builds as they are uploaded, select it, and then you can add a group. So, for example, if I added the external beta team to this, I would need to provide a test information for the Apple reviewers because they're going to have to review it. It might take a day or so. And then once they review it and verify it, it's all set, then it gets released to the external testers. But the internal testers will receive it immediately. So, just my opinion about test flight is that if you have a small app, and you're trying to get some people to test it out, I would recommend just launching on the App Store after going through some 
really intense internal testing through the internal beta. The external beta for us hasn't proven that effective because the users have to download test flight and go through that whole process. And although it might not seem confusing from the developer standpoint, a lot of users don't want the hassle and stress of dealing with that. So those are just my thoughts and kind of how to use test flight. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.